Okay, I'm gonna <clears throat> walk you through a couple of these uh, delta mass today, which is kind of a little bit of continuation of what we've been doing here as far as factoring. Just a little extra step here, basically. So two skills, which are pretty similar. I'll show you this for some example, an example of this first one. So solve for all values of, of x by factoring. So let's see if we can do it on here. Okay, so the main difference is you need to get this equal to zero first in order to factor this out. I can't just factor this here. I need, I need to move all this stuff over here too. Okay, so in other words, cancel out the two x. Um, let's just say plus two x there. And then also I'm gonna in the same, let's just be an x. Also cancel out this four, so I'm gonna minus four on each side also. Bring that over. Okay, this is gone, gone. Okay, so I've got x squared um, my, or plus 8x. And actually, that's it, right? Everything else canceled equals 0. Okay. This is an x. Okay, so in that case, I actually have a common factor of x between these two terms. If it's a common factor between two terms, you can factor it out there. And I've got x plus eight, okay, equals zero. So the equals zero means we're trying to find the roots, right? We're trying to find what we could put in to make it equal zero. Same thing as the roots. So the real answers to this are x could be negative eight, right from this or x could actually be zero i could plug in zero and get zero times eight if i plugged in zero here okay and that would give me zero so i've got a factor or a, a, a root you could say of zero and a root of negative eight okay so i believe you gotta hit plus here to put in more than one answer a root i got an answer of zero i've got an answer of negative eight that just means two different answers of zero and negative eight. Okay, let's see if I can. Yeah. Okay, let's look at a different one here. Um, this one's already equal to zero. That one you could just factor pretty easily. Um, let me go to the other skill there. Okay, say we got something like this. Okay, again, not equal to zero. Let's get it equal to zero. So move the 2x over plus 2x. And then also move the 8 over, right? So minus 8. Okay, so. Oh, and then we get it down to a nice standard form. X squared plus 15X, right? Uh, plus 50, okay, equals zero, right? Everything on the right side canceled out. So the equals zero just means, hey, I'm looking for the roots. What multiplies the 50 as the 15? Hmm. Five and 10, right? So the factoring is x plus five, x plus 10. Okay, but the real question is, what's the answer to make it equal zero, right? That's what the equal zero here means, means at the end. So what could I put in? to make it be zero. So we're really talking about the roots again. The roots are at negative five, right? And negative 10. So to put in two answers, again, you gotta hit this plus to get two answers in. So you gotta put in negative five and negative 10, both roots. Okay, that's pretty much it. If you wanna watch one more example, I'll go back and show you one more of this first group. But if you feel good about it, I think that's probably um, should get you by pretty well. Um, do one more out of this first group, just in case you want to see one. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. 
clear that out. Okay, so this one, I only step to get equal to zero is I gotta add x, right? Which actually cancels that out on both sides. So I've got x squared minus 100 equals zero. So I gotta recognize what's going on here. How can I factor x squared minus 100? Okay, there's no common factor like that first one, but uh, this is actually a difference of two squares. So this is this situation, right? X plus 10, X minus 10. All right, so the two roots then obviously are uh, negative 10 and positive 10. Okay, that's what I could plug in to get zero. Okay, so negative 10 and positive 10. Okay, get a hold of me if you uh, still have questions on that. Uh, it's not, it's due Friday at midnight, so you got a little bit of time, but you know, uh, you also have your quiz you gotta get done here. So if you have trouble, reach out to me, alrighty.